big girls, love yourself, like, let's get rid of the stereotype of that because we're big, we're easy. I'm, I'm a big girl, I'm not easy, like, I'm doing my thing, no man's gonna come and off my pants. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a quick video and I want to call it Know Your Worth. So, um, some things have been triggering me lately. So, like, I feel like we're all at an age where we're dating or whatever and I feel like we need to know our worth as females. I want people to understand that it's okay to not want to have to meet a boy after like a week's worth of talking. I know that some boys will try and make us feel guilty like, they will say stuff like, oh, what, are you a catfish or are you trying to waste my time? Like, chill, darling, I've been talking to you for 48 hours. Like, 48 hours is nothing. You're still a stranger and I still need to give myself time to know you and then even build that trust to come and meet you because you don't know anybody. Like, someone could be your age and you could be talking to them and this person might be sick, they might be aggressive, they might be abusive. So, boys need to understand that for females, it takes a lot for us to... For, for us to like trust you to come and meet you anyways um also when it comes to sex yeah don't feel pressured like nobody can pressure you into having sex like consent is a big thing and i'm fed up with boys thinking that because we're talking for like a week or a month or they've, they've called me every day that that means i'm now entitled to then go and have sex with them like life don't work like that if life was just all about sex, then we all would have died out of HIV. Like, some of us have morals and beliefs, and we have, like, cultures around us that enable us to respect ourselves. So, um, ladies, if a boy is trying to pressure you for sex, cut it off. If he keeps on saying to him, if he keeps on saying to you, oh, come to my when you come in mind, when you come in mind, he just wants sex. Any real man will tell you, oh, where do you want to go out? Like, we could go Nando's, we can go here, we can go there, I can follow you there. Like, a boy, if he really wanted your attention, he'd um he wouldn't mind he wouldn't suggest for you to just come to his house in it like are we little children are we still in school where boys are saying to girls come to my yard like be be mature about it like know your worth like you're 19 you're not a little child like if you can see little 13 14 year olds going up to nanos to have little dates then you as a big woman can say to yourself like oh like i'm a woman like maybe we could go somewhere proper to go out and eat and i'm not telling I'm not saying that he has to pay because me, I have my own money, so I can pay for my half of the thing. But let's just be mature about things. Like let's let's move forward in the right way. Like present yourself as a woman. Don't present yourself as a little like girl that will just go to any man's yard and and be looking like one type of raggedy bag on the roads. Um, also, when it comes to knowing your worth, ladies. Don't tarnish another girl's name just to just to make yourself look cool in front of others. Like I've I've seen um, boys say to like after their friend like after a girl leaves, I've seen boys say to her friend say, "Oh, what's your friend on?" What your friend is on is between you and your friend. That does not need to now be told to the another person. I see girls saying, "Oh, like I know she fucked one guy last week, but I don't know they're talking or whatever." You doing that? You're just a you're just a wicked witch. Number one, number two. You don't know that this boy is just trying to weed out information from you for him to then use what you're telling him to then go and use these things to try and um, lure in, to lure your friend to thinking that he's a good guy. When really and truly all you're trying to do is have sex. And some guys are so wicked that they will proper talk to you like they want to have you just to have sex and then dump you like you're just a rubbish bag ready to go to the scrap, scrap heap. So be careful in how you talk about your, uh, talk about your friends to boys or how you come across to boys. Also, with the way boys confront you, I feel like we need to tackle down on it. Like, I've had DMs saying, what are you on? One boy even had the cheat to ask me, am I on arc? Like, I've had DMs saying, oh, Fluffy, when you're gonna let me come tap that? Does this look like a brothel? Like, you will never get what you want from me. It won't happen for a very long time. You better go and look on matchmaking.com or pick my hole or whatever things out there and find one I show what to mm, but you're not in it's not me and um, I just want to remind my girls out there that we are queens okay one day by God's grace like we are gonna have children like you're gonna breed daughters and sons and you don't want them to have the same mentality as some of these girls or some of these males like you want them to like treat each other with respect like you want them to to have that trust you want them to be like gentle with one another so it starts with us the way you allow yourself to be treated is the way you're going to treat your teach your children on how to be treated 
So if you know that like, someone like me, I know that I have I'm so happy for my future. I am in education, I am working, I have plans, I know that the type of man that I need has to have like I'm never gonna tell you before one boy will come and see this and feel like oh yeah, let me just tell her all of this, it could come off my pant. It won't even happen. But as a female yourself, you know your goals and your worth, so just remember that you are queen. Um, don't let anyone use you. Like these things affect people in the long run. Like some girls are just doing whatever now. I'm telling, I promise you, when they're in their twenties or whatever, they're gonna they're gonna be looking back on like, oh my god, like this person did that to me, and I let him do that to me. Don't let anybody use fair intimidation or blackmail to um, to force you to having sex. No means no. If you still tries to force himself on you, get out of that situation or whatever because if you say no and he still forces himself onto you then you know it's rape and you just don't want to get into that whole drama of having to like deal with that situation so yeah hope you guys enjoyed my video because i felt like it needed to be done after my little rant a lot of girls asked me to speak out on it and yeah like i'm saying like big girls love yourself like let's get rid of the stereotype of that because we're big we're easy I'm, I'm a big girl, I'm not easy, like, I'm doing my thing, no man's gonna come and off my pants or work his way into my heart like that without him having some type of set goals, and to males, if you watch my channel, like, be humble, like, be the man you want your son to be, like, be the man you want, you'd want your, be the man that you want someone to treat your mum or your sister, like, if a girl's not ready for certain things, like, if you really want to get to know that girl, you'd give her the opportunity to, like, to get to know you and express it. Like, you wouldn't rush her into having to meet you or be making her feel guilty about, oh, what, are you a cat? Or are you frigid? So, yeah. Just be kind to one another and know your worth. But, um, blah, blah, blah. But, hope you enjoyed my video, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can message me on my media. And yeah, enjoy your day and know your work.